Hi, Jordan here. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, in this video, I will show you how to scale your Facebook ads, basically to the moon, with uh, 20 to like $50 per day budget ad sets. I'm using like tons of these small ad sets. This scaling strategy is probably like easiest way how to scale your ads, right? So I'm using this basically, it doesn't matter if I'm spending like $5,000 per day, like in that whole campaign, or I'm spending $50,000 per day. I was using it in like both like examples. So you can like scale hard, scale fast, and just like keep everything, you know, like nice and profitable if you were like connected with those rules. But basically this way you can scale like very fast, you know. I'm like used to just like right now scale usually by launching like three or 4K per day, you know, and then scale it like that. Every day I'm like doubling it. So now I will show you how I actually like do it in Ads Manager. Basically, I will show you how I scale using one of my campaigns. I just yesterday relaunched one product and uh, I created like, I think like 30 ad sets. So it was like with $50 budget, it was like $1,500, you know, and today is like second day. So I will be basically showing how I duplicate those ad sets and how I add new ones basically to that mix. You immediately see that I launched yesterday 30 ad sets. It was like first day, so it was just like 1.81 ROAS, which is which is like fine because basically for me, every, every time I'm like above like 1.5, I'm like in profit because I have like huge margins on everything. Try to like look on everything based on yesterday numbers. Set this based on purchases. And here just you check how many of ads had like multiple conversions, right? So usually I take everything like this, like you see it here, which is basically all above like two point ROAS and like more. And I like duplicate it three times. Now I have additional like 30 assets to those that survived yesterday, but that's like not, not all. So what do you need to do here is first like if you like copy those ad sets, clean those names. So you don't have like all these like copy 10, copy five, copy six, you know, so it's all clean. And uh, also go here and, and take that those like two or three ad sets that work best. Probably like best thing is to take one broad ad set that work best and one look like audience ad set that work best like these two and then duplicate them Again, but this time you will do another like, like 10 duplications. So from that, you will get another like 20 ad sets. See, like this is like still small because I'm basically like trying to duplicate like just like 30 ad sets right now at this point. But uh, if you already right now have like another like 20, so it's like, it's like 50 new ad sets. Plus you have like those 10 that survived from yesterday that were like working great. So it's like 60, right? Just by that, I basically already like doubled that budget and that's like second day. Important is that right now it seems like small because I just double it. But every day when you will like do this, you will have like more and more assets and that process will like be like a lot faster, you know? It's just like good idea to not start like too hardcore, you know, and like push it like too much. It's just good to go like step by step. So just start with like, uh, like me, like with 30, then you double it to like 60. What I also do is that I, when you have like a lot of different like ad sets in your, campa in your campaigns, you will switch on like lifetime value. And then you will like, again, sort everything based on purchases. And based on that, you will pick like best ad sets that work in the history of that ad account for that product. And you will take them and again like dupe it, you know. And here basically we will have like like hundreds of them that already work, so we will dupe them. You can basically take new ad sets that are like proven, like from from yesterday numbers. You can also like do dupe from like seven day numbers. You can do dupe from lifetime numbers. You can also like if you have enough data, you can just dupe like ad sets based on conversion value that they bring, you know. So you can really like like play with this and get a lot of like new assets like very fast in a way 
that it's not kind of like a risk for you because they already work so there's like a huge chance they will work again also when i'm doing like broads and lookalikes i always try to stay like around like 1 million in audience you know with broads you can like run like a lot higher you know a lot of people say that you should not like always like duplicates and things but the truth is that if you are like using like very like broad audiences like like i don't know like here i have like frequent travelers you know that's like a huge audience full of like people you know it's like 97 million people see like when facebook knows what you are selling and a they will know based on like conversions in campaign and based on like pixel right they will know what people from those 97 million people to pick when you create some ad set for some interests and you launch it facebook will focus on like i think like half a million people or 200,000 people audience in that like in that like huge amount of people in those 97 millions and then that ad set will focus on these people so basically if you have like huge audience like that broad with like frequent travelers you can really like throw on it like like unlimited ad sets you know and facebook will always pick like different group from those like fr from the total audience so you don't need to be like scared to like do like some huge overlap or like over promote to others look if you aren't spending like one hundred thousand dollars per day you don't really need to care about like over promoting too much i mean i don't understand why like so many people who spend like five you know per day are like so like worried about if they will not over promote the people you know there's like a very like small chance with like this kind of like tiny money you will really like do some damage right so you don't need to be like worried about that just 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 really like pick bigger audiences and try to like dupe them you know because and also like every day you will be basically adding also new audiences that you will create right so don't just like do things but also like uh, try to like push there like some new blood right so like i showed you at the beginning basically you have like those assets that you duped from best converting bro asset and dupes of best converting look like audience you will take these assets and you will again like play with targeting right you will just like go to interests and try to create like another like 10 new interest because if you will be doing this like every day it will not be just like add account like promotion for like same dupes you will be always like adding like new new ad sets with new audiences so you will not even like need to think about ever overlap right so you are always like moving forward but you are still like working with those best working audiences which is probably like like most important right you will also do it with your look like audiences i think it's super important to really look like audiences because looks likes can be sometimes tricky like i have like products that doesn't work like good with, with look likes but work great with broads but then i have like products that work only with look likes and not with broads so you need to always like check also like all your look likes you know and check which look like is working best for you which percentage you know if you should like com combine them with like interests or not you know in next video i will show you how to actually like create look likes and which look likes are like probably going to work best because it's not just create look likes from purchases but it's also like about using like look likes from from different type of views you know from different type of like uh, initiated checkouts you know just always try to like do things like this way you know that means that you will always have like fresh campaigns but your like that whole core of advertising will be based on those working tested assets and on the side you will be testing like new things so you will always have a profit and if you will have a loss it will be very small because it's like it's basically like 70 percent of like tested assets and 30 percent of like those new interests that you never tested before and also like when those new interests work you are like duplicating them again and again this way you can really like double or triple your budget very fast you know day by day just try to like follow this and i'm pretty sure that you will make like like a lot of money you know if you have like good working product good creative you will just throw it on this structure and it will just work you know i have like a lot of friends that that are using like similar structure like me or same structure they are all like making money so i just think that this is kind of like ultimate thing that works now like some people say for example you have like different types of ad accounts sometimes for one ad account works that sometimes for different ad account works that but like i changed like so many business managers and ad accounts and it always worked you know with them
So I don't. I think this is literally like ultimate thing. So if you will do that, it will just work for you as well. Okay. So thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check those previous videos about structure and automated rules because it literally works with that together. And uh, don't forget to join Adferation. So thank you very much and bye.